In this video, we'll compare the typical financing options available for purchasing a car. Let's say the car is worth is listed at $22,000. The dealer offers a 0% interest rate loan repayable over 60 months and you don't have to pay any initial payment for that. Or if you pay the full cash price, then the dealer offers a $2,000 cash back. And let's also say that you have the ability to borrow um, money from a bank, external bank at a 3% interest rate. So if you look at um, the analysis, the first thing we need to do is to just put down the timeline and I'm going to use um, the fill function here. And what I'm going to do is uh, just make sure to click on the D2 cell here and click this fill button and click on series and uh, select the columns uh, checkbox and step value is one. So we want to increment this by one and the stop value is 60 because there are 60 months and now Excel will automatically fill all 60 months. And uh, what I've also done is to freeze these uh, um, spreadsheet here by clicking on view and freeze panes. I have frozen the panes so that if you scroll down, you'll still be seeing the topmost uh, uh, labels. Now, if you were to go with the rebate option, then you're basically paying initially you're paying your your cash flow is a negative of the 22000 minus the 2000 so you're actually paying $20000 and in the subsequent months you're paying nothing if you go with dealer financing initially you're paying whatever is the down payment in this case it is zero and in subsequent months you're paying an amount calculated by the pmt function so the rate is 0% divided by 12. The number of periods is 60. The present value is this $22,000. The future value is zero because you want to repay the entire amount. And the type is zero because you want to pay at the end of each period. So that results in a payment of $367 per month. I want to copy this using the fill handle all the way down without having to retype the formula. So I'm going to click on these formulas here, uh, the cell references here and press the F4 button to make these cell references absolute. And once I do that, I can now double click on this fill handle and it will copy this formula all the way down till the 60 months. and. So those are your cash flows if you were to take the dealer financing at the 0% APR. Now, what's really happening here is you can think of this as the dealer giving you a $20,000 loan, which you are repaying him immediately. So he's getting his $20,000 of cash. Uh, that's net of the rebate, obviously, 22,000 minus 2,000. So it's as if he's lending you 20,000 and you're repaying $367 every month to pay back that 20,000. And the way to do that is to look at the differential cash flow, F2 minus E2, and then you can just copy this by double clicking the fill handle. So it's as if you're borrowing 20,000 and you're repaying $367 every month. Um, now, that's if you take the dealer financing. But if you were to take the rebate option, what you can also do is you can borrow the 20,000 from a bank. So, let's say you borrow this from the bank and the bank charges a three percent interest rate so i'm going to compute the payment function here at three percent by 12 because this is the annual interest rate number of periods is 60. the present value is twenty thousand, and the future value is zero and the type is zero. So if you do this, you can see that the amount you're paying is actually 359. And I'm going to make these cell references absolute again to enable copying. And you can see that on a monthly basis, you're paying $359 if you were to borrow from the bank at 3% interest rate. But if you were to borrow from the dealer, if you were to take the 0% option, you really are paying $367 on a monthly basis. So 
um, it looks like the bank is more attractive. Borrowing from the bank is more attractive. You can also compute the internal rate of return of these cash flows at your bank's interest rate. So I can say IRR of dealer financing uh, of these cash flows. I'm just going to give a guess interest rate of 1%. And I need to multiply this by 12 because the IRR that's reflected here will be a monthly IRR. And if you look at the, if you want to get the annual IRR that's implied by these cash flows, then you need to multiply this by 12. Um, and then you can see that the IRR that's implied by the dealer financing is 3.82%. So what's happening is the dealer is giving you a $2,000 discount or cash back or rebate if you pay cash down but if you don't pay cash down if you borrow from the dealer he's giving you a zero percent loan on the twenty two thousand dollars the way to look at that is that he's really charging you twenty thousand dollars and he's charging a two thousand dollar interest over a 60 month period so the implied interest rate of that is three point eight two percent and that actually is that is higher than the three percent interest rate you might get at a bank so you can play around with these numbers so what if the rebate was one thousand five hundred dollars then the numbers are different so maybe you should go with the um, the dealer financing so i hope you like this video thanks for watching